Thanks for watching Signal by Sony. I'm Anthony. And I'm Samia. So we're about to take you back to a time before MP3s, before CDs. Yeah, I'm talking about the era of vinyl records. Ask any diehard record collector and they'll tell you that vinyl never really went away. But the truth is, it is making a bit of a comeback right now. Actually, according to Nielsen Wire, vinyl sales increased by 37% in the beginning of this year. Yeah, and lots of new vinyl albums these days come with a digital download code, so you can still get the MP3s even if you buy the LP, which is a great deal if you like the convenience of listening to digital tracks, but you still want something physical in your collection. And that's like getting two things for one. Yeah, totally. You know what I mean? Like, Plus, why don't we get one free? I like to, like, put album art on the walls and then have the, like, the MP3s to listen to. Yeah, I feel like that's very you. <laughs> Anyways, there are a lot of other people out there who either collect or still own the vintage stuff, so it kind of splits their music collection between the analog and digital world. Well, in this next video, you're going to meet a DJ who's taking his old vinyl collection into the 21st century thanks to Sony's USB turntable. Check it out. So I'm Mauricio Bavanera. I'm an editor slash producer at Revision 3, and I also happen to be a... Um, hobbyist DJ. I started DJing about 10 years ago, around the same time that I was introduced to the whole world of vinyl. I would pick up some of the records and learn how to beat match, learn how to transition. My taste since then has, has gotten a lot more eclectic. I have a little bit of uh, rare records and a little bit of 99 cents records, which to me are also uh, invaluable, even though I bought them for 99 cents, just because I'm not going to find them anywhere else. I think vinyl has lasted as long as it has because it's really the only analog format that you have that's cheap to produce and still has playable, you know, you still have turntables everywhere. Old turntables, new turntables still being made. I think buying vinyl records is a trend right now. But it's a good trend. It's a trend I like to see. I have noticed that a lot more record labels are putting out vinyl in tandem with a digital release within the record. The problem with that, though, is still those 99 cents bargain bin stuff that, you know, we've collected over the years. And there's no digital copy for that. One of the wonderful things that's happened with technology is it's made DJing easier. I don't have to carry crates and crates of records anymore to, to clubs or, or whatever party I'm DJing because of the digital revolution. So it's made things a lot easier in, in terms of um, mobility. What that means though is I need to convert my existing vinyl collection to digital. So I'm trying to go back in, into my catalog and recapture that vinyl sound into uh, an uncompressed format, which is one main reason why I've been using the uh, Sony USB turntable. One of the great things that I love about the turntable is I really see it as a listening and recording center. So I've got my other turntables that, that are my DJing tools. The Sony turntables become the listening station. It's great quality cartridge and, and, and needle. It's, it's a belt drive system and it works fantastic for listening. What's, what's great about the turntable is um, it's, it's USB powered, but it also has RCA cables out, so you don't need to use the USB side of things. You can just pull that out just whenever you need to record something, but it, could, it functions also just as a regular listening turntable. Um, it plugs in, just like I said, just analog through, through phone or line level. Because what used to happen, and in order to record my vinyl into a digital format that I can play on a computer, I had to hook it up to a um, preamp and hook that up to um, a digital to analog Converter, bring that into my computer via various software and, and it was a hassle. You had to set your levels, make sure you weren't peaking. Sometimes, you know, there'd be the dust, the little cracks in the record that would make the track distort just for that one second. It was a tedious process. With the USB turntable, it's the DDA conversion, the digital to analog conversion is, is happening all within the turntable. Um, all you have to do is, is make sure your input is this USB device and it kind of just takes care of everything else for you. So transferring all my vinyl is going to be a huge project, no, no matter how you slice it. But it's going to be a much shorter project than what I used to have to do, the, the, the methodology, all the, uh, the technical loopholes that I had to jump through to, to get it from vinyl to computer. And um, the Sony USB turntable just makes it that much easier. All right, just a few more things about the Sony USB turntable. Now, if you're the kind of DJ who likes to scratch records, can you make that? I'm impressed. I'm I got your back. Anyways, this is actually not the turntable for you. But as you just saw, it's a great device for ripping all of your old LPs. It actually already comes bundled with Sony's audio editing software. 
It's for PCs only, but if you're a Mac user, don't worry. You can still use the turntable with other software brands like Vinyl Studio. Yeah, and even if you're not using it to rip your vinyl, it's still a fully functional turntable that you can connect to your stereo system and just play your old records on it. Anyway, there are other brands that make USB turntables too, so like always, be sure to read up on product reviews on CNET or other shopping sites. There are some helpful reviews on Sony's site as well. The Sony USB turntable is about 150 bucks. Remember to stay on top of everything Sony makes. Just go to youtube.com signal or sony.com signal. And if you haven't done it already, please do download the free Signal by Sony app for Android or iPhone. You won't regret it. For now, this is Anthony Insomnia signing off.